some butterflies, three-dimensional butterflies actually, and what I have in front of me is um, the pieces that are already cut out. Now, um, they came on an eight and a half by 11 sheet like this in three sizes, and then you just want a fussy cut around them. And I recommend getting as close as you can, and if you can cut off the white edge, that's even better, um, but we're gonna cover I'm going to cover the edges here with some um, stickles, and so I'm not too concerned about the white on those. So let me just move these over so we can start on the first one. And I'm going to put in um, some little flower stamens to be their antennae, and they came from this package that I bought off of Amazon. I'll put a link below for that. And so then what we're going to do here is all we want to do is glue in the center of the butterfly okay so we'll put the largest one down first and i just want to add glue here let me make sure my glue is is working okay there we go it might be a little too much uh, let me just pick some of that up all right and then I'm going to put my medium sized butterfly right on top of that. All right. And then I'm going to, I'm going to try a glue pen on this and see if that will work any better. Okay. So I'm going to run some glue right down the center and then go for my smallest little guy. All right. And then we just want to wait for that to get tacky and then we can add some dimension to these guys by lifting them up because we're only gluing them you know in the center so this guy didn't stick fast enough all right so i'm just going to hold my finger in the center there so i can lift up the sides All right, and then I am going to also glue the little stamen onto the back like that, or I could actually just put it on with a piece of tape, which I think might actually work better um, because then I don't have to wait for the back to dry. So let me do that. I'll just decide how tall I want these guys to be and where I want them. I think that's about good. And then I'm gonna put the tape on the back here like that. And that doesn't really matter because um, we're going to be gluing this down to our projects anyway. So the fact that there's tape back there really doesn't matter. Now, to work on this, I am going to um, just bring in a Teflon sheet just to protect my wood surface here. And I am just gonna go around the edges with some stickles and I'm trying to decide if I want to do this pretty blue or if I want to use my Zazzle that's in white. I think I'm going to go with the blue because it coordinates with the butterfly. So let's just make sure we can get it to come out. There we go. All right. And then, so I am just going to go over the outer edges here. I'm choosing not to do the whole butterfly wing, just the outer edges. But really, you could do as much or as little as you wanted. I'm finding holding it in my hand works a lot better for being able to get around that edge. And then I will put it down on my Teflon sheet to dry. Now you could add other embellishments to this too, as many as you like. But, um, you know, we could just make a few of these and have them in our stash for when we want to use them on our cards, or junk journal, scrapbook, um, glue books. You could put them on a gift. That would be really pretty. In the center of a bow or instead of a bow. 
So yeah, these will make for really nice ornamentation. So there, and that the stickles just really enhances those wings. All right, so let's go um, into this one. This is, I don't know. I wanna say this is my favorite, but I really don't know which one is my favorite. Um, all right, I'm gonna go back to my sticky glue. See if I can get this to work a little bit better for me by not putting so much down. And then for the antennae on this guy, I kind of want to change the color of them. So I am going to color them. I didn't have black in my package and I really would like some black stamen. So I am going to bring in a scrap piece of paper first. Let me see what I have here that I can use. I'm reaching into my trash can and pulling off a piece of paper. All right, and then I am going to use a black permanent marker, which I didn't pull out. So let me see what I have. I think this will work. Yeah, this should work. All right, so I'm just going to color over the parts that you're going to see here. Let's flip it over and get this side black too. And then I'm going to let this sit off to dry for a little bit because. Um, these, the ends here are, are plastic, and I think that the ink is going to take a little bit of time to dry. It's going to soak right into this, the stem part, which is paper, but the little ends here are plastic. Another option here would have been a stamp pad. Push this into a stamp pad. Um, alcohol ink marker might have worked just as well. Um, I'm using a brush tip. I think I am mostly covered here. All right, I'm gonna just let that sit off to the side to dry. And then we may need to go over it again, I'm not sure. All right, so now this guy, we're just gonna end up. All right. It looks like my center glue spread out a little bit on me on the smallest guy. That's okay. I think we'll still get some dimension out of that. And this time I'm going to use black. And let's see how this will look. So just give it a squeeze, make sure it works. All right. And once again, I'm just gonna go around the outer edges here. And maybe into the center here to cover up this white. I didn't cut this one as well, thinking I could 
go over it and hide those cutting pieces. And I can. What do you think of the black? Is it too much? Should I have gone with something lighter or a color instead? I don't know. Well, thankfully we're going to have a few different ones to work with here. And so we'll have, I'll have some different colors in my stash to choose from. So this is a really fun project when you just want to sit down and make something. You can just craft and add to your stash and use some of the materials that you have. Now, for me, I have the stickles, and so I'm just adding them onto this, but they don't, they don't have to have it. It's, it's a nice addition to the edges, but you could do Wink of Stella, you could do glue with glitter, um, you could just go over it with marker, um, you could leave them as is. You don't really have to put anything on the edges. I like the look. I like the shiny. <laughs> but um, yeah, the printout is free, so you're just you know grabbing it from the printer and putting it together. So it's a quick little inexpensive project that's ends up being really pretty. This one I am going to go much lighter. And I am going to leave the stamen on it white this time. And so I just need to lift up to make sure we have the dimension. And this one I'm going to go with this clear kind of edge around it. Let's see what this looks like. I guess you could also change the color. I mean, I'm doing this clear around the outer edge and that's sparkly nice. But I could put the blue on this one if I wanted to change it up halfway. really like the sparkle that's being added. Would you add anything else to these? Would you put some flowers on here or stickers or I don't know what else might work for that? I didn't glue the stamen on the back so I'm gonna have to wait for this to dry and come back to it. All right. I think that's all the spots I want to get with this. All right. 
I'm just going to move that tie out of the way and wipe up my excess here. And I've got one more cutout to put together. And this one, I don't know what color I'm going to put on the edge. I have black pulled out. I don't know if I have any pink. Let me let me look here. I do. I have I have this pink. Um let me just look. I have some red. I think that's going to be too dark. But I have this pink that's pretty vibrant. I have another red. I have a purpley. Hmm. It's getting hard <laughs> to decide what to put on this one. I have gold. I have... This Nouveau, that's really pretty, but it's purpley. I guess it doesn't have to be pink. It could be black, because the black on the edges, right? So I'm digging. I have another icicle, icicle clear, and I have... Wow, this is a darky purple color, isn't it? Um, that might look really nice on this one after I get it cut out so well we can glue them together and then I can make my decision of what's going to go around that edge because I just don't know I might I mean I originally thought maybe it was going to be black because the edge of the butterfly is black Now, if you noticed on this one, I kind of bent it a little bit before I um, stuck it down. And that seems to work nice. Alright. Just clean off my glue tip there. And let's just sample a few of these, see what they look like, right? This one seems to have a lot of gel to it before I'm, I'm not getting to the sparkly bits. In fact, it's a little, it's a little hard. So that's going to be a no-go for sure. So let's just wipe up that. I think it was just kind of glue that was in there. And which means this one's going to be pretty similar, it looks like. Both of these are kind of trashed. Let's just, yeah. Alright, so those are heading to the trash bin. Let's see what this looks like next to it. Alright, I have a feeling I'm going to go with the black, <laughs> just because nothing else is looking good. It looks like I'm going to have to buy some pinks. Yeah, we're going to go with the black around the edge of this guy. So let me clean up my Teflon sheet here. Alright. So if I had cut the white a little bit better, I could go around it with like a clear instead of a black, but I do want to cover up that cut, cut paper. So let's see if we can get this started here. There we go. I've had these glue stickles type products in my stash for a while and I've never used them and especially like with card making because I don't want to wait for them to dry. I'd rather just add a little 
gem element and be done. Um, so it's nice to have this project that I can, I can use what I have. If you have a brother scanning cut, you could get these to cut out real nice without having to do any fussy cutting. That's for the most part, that's what I did. And then I um, went in and cleaned up a few areas that needed a little extra help. a little much there. Push it away. Yeah. There we go. I think this edge here needs a little bit more. Okay. There we go. All right, so I just need to set those aside and let them dry. I need to finish fussy cutting out the other one and then add the stamen on the back. And then I, I have these to put in my stash and look how pretty they would be. I really like the looks of them. Let me know what you think.